be ready to go on the rope walk. Oh yeah, a uh, little safety thing here. Uh, just make sure nobody touches my ropes on the downside here. Like I said, it includes you. And same on this side too. Just kind of watch my back here. Oh, hi. Just make sure nobody touches these things. Oh, I should point out that this rope walking routine is extremely dangerous because it's, the rig here is currently being held together with first aid tape, which I find kind of ironic. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm up here playing frisbee with a narcoleptic dog. Okay, narcolepsy. That's a disease characterized by sudden fits of deep sleep. The dogs that have it fall asleep when excited. Now it's funny. I'm not saying that so much for printed t-shirts. Looks like this. Looks like a road sign. Has a guy throwing the frisbee. Dog's asleep on his back. Feet kicked up. Z's coming out his mouth. Underneath it says playing frisbee with a narcoleptic dog. I thought that up. I did the artwork too. I can do stick figures. Everybody help me out here. Put your hands together once for step by step. Let's hear it. Going up. Whoa. Well, how would you do it? All right. As if you care. Everyone, you can help me stand up here. If you would, please create a drum roll by banging on your thighs. If everyone does this, no one will look silly. Except me, I've got that covered. Louder. Okay, I'm standing. Stop with the drum roll. And start with the clap. walking stunt that we'd like to show you. What I'd like to do is invite Jaina up onto the rope with me. She will sit on the rope. I'll attempt to walk out, step over her, and hope to make it to the opposite end. If this works, it's a big deal. And here's why. If there's only one on the rope, there's only one point of sway, one point of vibration, but if there's two, we start to bounce each other around like having two people on the same trampoline. We have to control all that at the same time using only this. My mom is so proud. Her mom is terrified. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> I like that guy. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our finale for you folks today. Thank you so much for spending part of your fair day with us here at Circus Stella. We really appreciate that. If you're enjoying the show and you'd like to keep in touch, that would be amazing. We're really easy to find. We are Circus Stella on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. You name it, we've got it. And we would love to be your friend. 
you took photos of the show, we would enjoy seeing them too. You're welcome to post them on our page. So a big thank you in advance, everybody, for being our friendly friends on the internet. <laughs> I seem to be a lot higher up now. Uh, hey, Dexter, that's enough. Good right there. <laughs> After this performance, Jaina and I, we right up here at our t-shirt cart. If we made your day more enjoyable, you folks can make ours a lot more enjoyable. Stop by, say hi, take some pictures with us, we'll be right up there. And yes, we have things for sale. If you'd like to learn to juggle, we do have sets of juggling balls, and I will help you learn. Juggling balls are going for $10 a set. Also, our DVDs are $10, our t-shirts are $20. Collect the set. <laughs> okay, I tried. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> you guys hear those bells in the distance? That's our friend. He's playing a medieval instrument called the carillon. I love it when it happens during our show because I feel like it makes this trick even more ominous. Antissa, <laughs> patient. <laughs>